What's up, guys? This is Nasir McGill here, and today I would like to wish you guys a happy new year. Now, for how my year went, well, um, hmm, man, how do I put this? So, you know how there's like the good and the bad during the year? Well, in this case, the bad is like in the form of like one giant bubble, while the good is just like a bunch of tiny bubbles compacted into like a big bubble if that makes sense and honestly this year has like one of the worst starts to a year i've ever had and um i don't really like to talk about um sad stuff on the channel because i want this channel to be positive but i just want to get something off of my chest and i just want to share this with you guys I did go through, like, someone in my family did pass, and that kind of, like, skews my opinion about this year. It happened somewhere in April. I don't really remember what day, but all I know is that is still hanging on to me a little bit. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get better from it, but it still really, it still really hurts me, man. But I don't want to get deep into that right now. What I do want to get deep into is what good has happened this year. Because I want to focus on the good things that happened. And I know that big bad thing is quite a hardship for my mental health. I do feel like that if I hang on to that for too long, I'll start to go crazy. So... I'm going to focus on the good stuff that happened this year. But before I do that, I want to add a moment of silence for my granddad. Okay, now I'm going to get into the good stuff that has happened this year. And honestly, there has been a lot of good things that happened. And just a lot of good. I wouldn't say it outweighs the bad. I feel like the that giant bad is still there it's still visible but the good is like trying to like equal it out you know a lot of good has happened this year the mario movie came out this year and it really sucks that charles martinet had to retire but hey at least he's sharing the word of mario right oh and the fnaf movie also came out this year and don't get mad at me, but I have not seen any of those two movies, and I do plan on seeing those movies. But I just wanted to share both of those movies because I know a lot of people like both of those movies, so I had to bring something good that happened. I see that um, the final waves of the Mario Kart DLC came out. I freaking love the final waves of the DLC. The DLC has been such a good journey, and I feel like I had to bring that up because I am a big Mario Kart fan. I freaking love Mario Kart. Another good thing that has happened is Super Mario Bros. Wonder. We got to play it. I I just love the game. By the time I am recording this audio, I just want to tell you guys that we've completed the main route and... I was about to say we were going to complete the special world until I looked it up and apparently there's there's like what an extra level and we have to like 100% the game in order to get it or something. But yeah, I just love Super Mario Bros. Wonder. It has been quite a journey and it just it's 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 one of the best Mario games we had in a long time and I am I'm just in love with the Mario franchise. All right, the last thing I'm going to bring up before I move on to the channel is, the, of course, the TDI reboot. The Total Drama Reboot 2023 has came out. It has came out in every single country except for the U.S. I live in the U.S. I have not gotten to watch it like live on the TV. How I got to watch it is because the TDI reboot is very strict when it comes to YouTube, except for season two for some reason. So I decided to like uh, get redirects from different YouTubers. And uh, yeah, that's how I got access to it. And honestly, my opinions on season one, it's freaking phenomenal. It succeeded a lot of people as a lot of people's expectations. And I'm really glad that a lot of people enjoy it. I personally enjoy it 
as for season two, season two is pretty good too. But I'm not going to spoil anything about season one and season two because season one hasn't even aired in the US yet. So I just wanted to say that the TDI reboot is amazing. Now I'm going to move into another topic and that topic is this channel. I did a collab with some awesome people 11 months ago. So I, I encourage you guys to check that collab out. It's a GarageBand collab. And we are actually planning on doing more content with GarageBand. We have not quit. It's just something good to look forward to. And this year, I also started a new series, the Corpse Party series. Will it get finished? I'm not, I'm not making a promise. I don't like making promises because most of them I have not kept. Take Doki Doki and Cuphead, for example. I might come back to those franchises and make a video on them. I don't know if it'll be, um, I don't know if it'll be related to the series, but I'll definitely visit the franchise and make a video on them. But all I can say is, is that I started a series and it's pretty different from my other series because I reacted to this series and provided my commentary on the series. I like making these commentary videos. The problem is they take a very long time to edit, but once it comes out, it feels very satisfying. I know I've said that like a million times, but it's it's true. Adventure Time Puzzle Quest. I finished the main route. I did lose my progress because I have a new phone, but the perks of having a new phone is that I get to make high quality videos or well, videos in better quality. I don't know if it'll be in the highest quality. That series is on a pause though. I know I unlocked like six other levels, but I, that involves me going all the way back and I really don't feel like doing that right now. So I'm just going to put that series on a pause and I'm going to wrap up the gaming section of this video by talking about Geometry Dash. Geometry Dash 2.2 has came out. It was pretty unexpected. It came out while I was asleep, dude, like at night. But I'm so freaking happy that Geometry Dash 2.2 came out because that just unleashed like a wave of creativity that I can use to my advantage to make better levels and good levels. And I really do want to make more levels just because of that. That just motivates me to play GD even more. As for gaming content, I'd say that Geometry Dash 2.2 has been one of the best things that has been released in this. And that's why I didn't include it in the good stuff that has happened because Geometry Dash is content that I love to make. I love making GD levels. And I know it takes a very long time, but the finished product, once getting it out, it just feels very satisfying to release them, man. Definitely want to make more in the future. Okay. Now it's time to get into other content. And by other content, I mean voiceovers. Not gonna lie, <laughs> you guys are crazy. You guys are actually insane this year. Like, I'm not even joking. You guys are actually crazy. So if you guys didn't know already, me and Sajid made two videos dedicated to a fan-made series of total drama called Disventure Camp. And Sajid got me and my older brother into it. And honestly, I love the first season. I have not seen the second season, but I actually like the first season. The first season... <laughs> It was actually better than I initially thought. I thought it was just going to be like a lame fan-made series, but no. It actually exceeded some of my expectations, and I actually think that I underestimated it. But that's not the point of bringing... That's not the point. The point is, the first video got over 5k views. And the second video got over 4K views. And if it already wasn't crazy enough, I just wanted to remind you that both of those videos reached 1K in under a month. Now, I, I'm not a mathematician, but if you compare those views to the views I've gotten on 
like the other videos that's honestly insane now i don't really like to mention views because views really don't really mean much to me same with likes i don't really want to pay attention to that stuff because it kind of makes me a little nervous but it's just something i had to bring up because you guys are crazy. Me and Sajid really appreciate the support on those two videos because we had a lot of fun making both of those videos. And that also goes with the other voiceovers that we've made this year. The fact that if you combine both of those videos, it reaches like 10k watches is honestly great to see that people really support this type of content truly underestimated how many people actually love this venture camp <laughs> now as for other voiceovers i know the the voiceovers earlier in the year were a little weird because i was like in a different location we were like uh near a fish tank but i love those voiceovers that we did um in the beginning of the year me and sajid had fun and i also saw that surprisingly I do do voiceovers like by myself. I do have some voiceovers that I do by myself without Sajid, but this year I only made one. And that one was actually like at the beginning of the year. <laughs> Might do more on my own. I really want to find more shows to do. I saw that someone requested Mau Mau Heroes of Pure Heart. Me and Sajid have not even seen that. We might. We might actually give it a chance. I heard people like it. Some people, anyway. So yeah, that's that. Oh my god, this is like the longest New Year's video I've ever made. There goes to show how I love to talk to you guys. That is it for this video. Just to make a quick summary, I want to make more GD content. I feel like GD content is something I definitely want to look forward to. Voiceovers. I want to do more voiceovers, obviously. Collabs are also something I would like to do with some people. And finally, for ongoing series, the corpse party is put on a... I feel like every series... I'm just going to put every series on a pause. I like to switch up my content, you know? From uh, making community posts, I almost forgot to mention the community posts where I share two songs that you guys pick which one is better. Thank you for supporting me on the polls and, uh, well, participating on the polls. You don't have to participate. I'm not going to force you guys if you don't want to. And that goes for all my content. You don't have to subscribe. You don't have to stay subbed. All I care about is if you give my content a chance. If you like it, and if you don't like it, I would just like to say thank you for giving my content a chance. And it that's just a very polite thing to do, you know? I appreciate you guys for the support for both me and my brother. Some good things have happened on Sajid's channel, so I encourage you guys to go check his channel out. So yeah, I think that about wraps it up. As always, I love you guys so much. I hope you all have a great day or night, depending on when you're watching. And I'll see you guys in 2024. Happy New Year.